overall, it helped us secure planning approval, it helped us secure the project, it's something we want to do on future projects. Um, Not only does it seem to halve the time that I usually spend kind of faffing around trying to make sure everything's covered before I get to committee, um, but more importantly, it seems to provide both a guarantee and an accreditation that a development will be sustainable as defined in the MPPF, which is at the end of the day what we all want, it's what we're all after. The process does shadow the existing planning process in terms of looking at development holistically. What Green commun Community seemed to offer was a kind of third party assessment of sustainability, which I think is worth an enormous amount, especially when you're dealing with one of those really horrible, controversial planning applications. It is actually incredibly easy and it does provide a lot of certainty to developers in terms of what we as planners are trying to achieve. What it does is it seems to take away a lot of that hazy, fuzzy, ambiguous planning stuff where a developer doesn't quite know if they've done enough to satisfy the planners and where we planners sometimes aren't quite sure what it is that we do want because we're being pulled in 20 different directions by politicians and objectors and developers themselves. And in the bidding process the client said to us, we've got a sustainability expectation, it's actually quarter of the marks, and we said, right, what do you expect within that? And they said, well, we're not sure. Um, you tell us. So using Brim Communities as the framework enabled us to give them something which was very clearly structured and auditable and understandable. So the approach, but in the present climate, a lot of public authorities are actually struggling to resource all of the the various obligations they have anyway, so I expect a number of them will, will carry on welcoming this kind of, well, here's our sustainability approach, Brian Communities, you don't need to do an awful lot, just, just look at it and understand it and it gives you what you want, and I expect that, as I say, that, that will continue to happen. The framework for sustainable communities here allowed us to get our collective heads around it. The communities created this kind of halo, if you like, over the media city development saves us money in the long run to have these buildings on a more sustainable footprint. That's what's driving this. Of course it is a planning vehicle, but it's actually so much more. I think for me, from a, from a group perspective, 20% of the value is in the planning and 80% is in the actual the conversation you have about your development and how that team works and how the subsequent development expresses itself. So, in Tilbury and Communities, um, our approach was complicated. It was, I think, a much simplified framework of what we'd already been doing. And, um, the consultation plan, it's something we would do anyway, but we have developed a very detailed engagement plan, and we've been through an enormous amount of engagement with stakeholders on site and surrounding the site, public exhibitions, a lot more than one would normally do for the planning process and because we are on site for 15-20 years we recognise the value of a very sophisticated and robust engagement plan because we have to carry on engaging. Uh, Green Communities for me means a happy planner, a sustainable <coughs> development and a fast decision. <laughs>